show us that? That uh, looks like a Pokeball, but of course it's just an item in a Pokeball-shaped container. Watch it's it be a, gotcha a Pokeball. Ball. Ooh, rose incense. Is that grass? Uh, for some reason, I feel like that's real good for Pete Rose. Yeah, grass type moves. Uh, Forget if those are ten percent. It might be equivalent to the uh, Miracle Seed. Because no, the Miracle incenses seed. are also like evolution items for some weird evolutions. Yes, there's a couple that are incense based. Because there's because now we have uh, uh, Miracle Seed, ro Rose Incense, and the Big Root for healing stuff. I think the incense is the lesser compared to the plates. If we had a grass plate, that'd be yet another one. Yeah. I want to say Miracle Seed is the best is the best of those options, but I'm not 100% sure. My phone is dead, so I don't have as much brain yeah. as I usually do. That is all good. I can I can take a quick peek in a second here. Just want to get us back up to town. Yeah, okay. Um... Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Uh, here on the D-pad. I'm Rick. And I'm Peter. And this is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I'm looking for a Pokemon Center, goddammit. Mart. Church. I mean... There we go. Non-denominational yeah, building. Yeah, non-denominational house of worship with no background music for reasons... All right, so Miracle Seed boosts, uh, currently boosts grass type moves by 20%. Wow. I think the incenses are 10. I think so. so. That's definitely uh, the winner. Incense. Uh, uh, hmm. Because it also talks about, yeah, that Pokemon that can't normally breed will be able to breed when holding those. It's how you make some baby Pokemon happen, I believe. Because, yeah. like, the regular breeding doesn't make the baby happen. But, like, if you have an odd incense, then you'll get a Mime Jr. out of a Mr. Mime. So a Rose Incense also does 20%. Okay. Uh, and then what was the last one we had was the, the Big Root, I big think. Big Root, yeah. I'm also going to check out with the, the plates, too, just because... Maybe it's the plates that are 10%. I could have sworn one of them was 10%. I thought so, too, yeah. Meadow Plate. Increases by 20%. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so they're all equivalent. And the uh, Big Root? Big how much Root. Healing? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> well... Um, it restores 30% more hit points than it normally would. Okay. Um, so that's like... It also increases the damage taken by liquid from liquid ooze, too. Yeah. So strictly speaking, if I wanted to focus more on the healing aspect, Big Root would get me more healing. But... I don't, I don't think so, because you heal half. Yeah. So, so I get but thirty percent more healing is the is equivalent to fifteen percent more damage with no healing boost. So twenty percent more damage will get me ten percent more healing. Did I do the math backwards? Maybe. Because whatever yeah. the benefit is, we get half of. I want to go east. Okay, go so big here. root heals you better, but also hurts you more on liquid ooze. Yes. And the others do more damage. Yes. Which yeah. which for, for Giga Drain will also heal more. Yes. By not quite as much. Because I yes. did the math backwards. Okay, so we got the right we got the right setup then. Miracle Seed is the way to go. Or the Meadow Plate or the uh Rose Incense. All three of those are equally good. It's kind so of just hilarious. in case you have three grass type Pokemon on <laughs> your team. And you have not yet decided that that's a really, really bad idea. You're a grass gym leader. Yeah, there we go. That'd be a, that'd be a circumstance. That'd be good. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing all around. Nothing to surf to. Uh, 
Oh, 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 nope. Uh, no, I think we're good here. Yeah, that was bike gated, but not surf gated. Yeah, I think it's time for us to move on. I think we've, I think we've cleared bit. There might be something like right here. Yeah. I guess I'll very briefly check that, and then we'll, then we'll be on our way. Such tenacity. I just want to not miss anything important, you know? You never know. You never know. Apparently that's the ranch city. I guess, right? Yeah. You know how... Oh, that's right. This is a bike. This is a bike thing. So never mind. Well, there was down below stuff too, but it was all running around. I don't yeah. think there was anything surf gated. I think let's just go to Jubilife. Jubilife City. Let's just be on our way. Let's get on with it. We've spent a week and change on the Surfing World Tour. Uh, well, we still have that two-week Rock Climb World Tour to look forward oh, to. Oh, yeah. Because that will definitely be slower. <laughs> and there's more stuff that will be done as well. Oh, yeah. This was fucking Creepy Clown City. I should go visit the, the guy. Oh, um, there's... Yes, there's a new app approximately every gym. Um... It's uptown, oh. up north of town. Uh, the on the left. Oh yeah. Right. I think so. <laughs> totally normal lobby. Is it that guy? Not weird at all. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it, we went upstairs for. Oh, this it. is the TV studio. Oh shit! You're right. They have two front doors, the place that you're looking for. I remember that. Might be one over to the left. That sounds right. Yeah. Okay. Those flags are barely moving. How's that work? Like the flags they have on the moon. They've got stiff rods holding them out. Uh. But that also makes them wind resistant. They'll have a new Pokech app. Marking map. Pokech app. Marking map allows the placement of markers. Having a map constantly displayed is convenient, no? And also mark things was so that much more useful. It's minimap app. Well, let's try it. Just gotta Just page through all of your first. apps. Nope. I'd say that this is too frustrating, but this is how my watch works too. Ugh god. Oh. Yeah, no. No. And talk to him again. Get even more apps. Nope. Do I have oh, to okay. leave first? I might have to leave and then come back. What you got for me today? Now saving. Oh. Oh, did you stop here just a gym ago? No. Weird. And you must be out then. All right. No complaints about that here. I think someone blocked me from going this way earlier. That makes sense. You're not supposed to go to Kenilave that early. Yeah. And they didn't just want to, like, you know, put a body of water in your way. 218. I don't appear to have a catch for two. Oh, no, I do. I got Magikarp. Hilarious. At the fishing hole that's almost unknown to people? Yeah. Unknown? No. Oh, this guy gave me the old rod. That makes sense. Oh, did they stop you on this side? I think so. Alright, we got dudes over there. Oh, right. She and her boyfriend are uh, you know, just on opposite sides oh, of the, yeah. the water. When's my boyfriend gonna get here? Go to the other side. When's my girlfriend gonna get here? Yeah. You know, meet on the dock on two eighteen. Yep. Right. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, very nice. Ooh. That'll be good. All right. <sighs> We're going to fight these guys first. Oh, 
Uh, can I just... There we go. Jar of Honey. Oh, great. Outdoor fishing for the win! As opposed to indoor fishing. Yeah. As opposed to indoor fishing. All right, Michael. Oh, no, a Gyarados. What do I do about a Gyarados? Trip it. Time to trip a Gyarados. How do you trip a Gyarados? With a grass knot. Mm -hmm. 29. Perfect. Excelente. Trip. Boing. And down he goes. All right. Leveling up. Getting close to that level 50. Getting close to that level 50. Gyarados, we're going to trip a Gyarados. Time to trip a fish. A flying fish. Oh, so this is what they say when they're when they when they this is what they mean when they say they're going on a fishing trip. Yes. Yep. I'm just going on a fishing trip. Definitely talking about grass knot. Gonna fish him and trip him. On a fishing trip. Gonna trip some fish. Gonna trip trip on fish all weekend. Gonna trip fish all all trip long. There's tripping, there's tripping hard, there's tripping balls, and then there's tripping fish. I was like, dude, I was tripping fish for like six days. I don't even fucking remember anything. Gotta make I didn't that even a thing. read that. <laughs> What's yeah, that? You gotta make that a thing. That's tripping great. Fish. That's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's our Magikarp guy. Oh, did he have all the, all the fish? He had five Pokemon, and his first one's a Magikarp. Yeah. Pretty good idea. It's the Magikarp Fisher. And we'll do this one for the first one, and then we'll uh, switch in Lucky for the rest. Slurp. Because it, it'll probably have uh, Tackle and Bounce, which aren't really going to be all that interesting. Yeah. Or strong. Oh, never mind. I mean, Lucky would still also be good there, but... Yeah. Level 31, though. He's a yeah. little under level. A little bit. Almost there. You're in the right ballpark. I mean, for these trainers. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's quite gym ready. No, lucky? No. Ah, damn. Waterfall. Er. Pete Rose, you were supposed to cheat with your love. Yeah, how come you aren't cheating with your love to sidestep all these attacks? Why don't you love me enough to not get hit with waterfalls? You know the song, Don't Go Evading Waterfalls? Magikarp. Lucky, get out here. Please surf on the rivers and lakes that you're used to? Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. So I hear that I hear that song, and I was never really all that familiar with um, waterfalls. But I was much more familiar with Phony Calls, the Weird Al parody. Uh-huh. So my brain always thinks of that first. The seven digit numbers that you're used yeah. to. Yeah. Bitch, I think it's funny driving some people right up the wall. But you know it's getting a little fast. Bow, bow, bow. Including like an audio clip from The Simpsons, which must have been a real expensive fucking audio clip to include in that song. Yeah, there's like three yeah. There's Bart Simpson laugh. There's like uh, Mo. There's the the Mo call. Yeah, there's the actual call to Mo. Yeah, the, um, I think it was for Seymour Butts. Uh, no, Mike Roch. Oh, Mike Roch. That's right. Yes. That comes up on my Pandora channel almost on the daily. Nice. Uh. Since I have to wear a hairnet and a beard net at work. They actually can't see my headphones. Oh, nice. That little extra bit of cover. Always good. So they can't tell me to not wear my headphones that don't actually block my ears at all because they're bone conducting. Oh, nice. Sarah's got some of those, too. Yeah. Same brand. We've Just bonded gonna... over our yeah. bone conduction. Kid, you going to turn around? There we go. All right, so we got some Is it the rocker here? that's the boyfriend? 
I think so. I kind of want to get into town first here, and then I'll come back. Sure. Hi. Ringo, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm your father. <laughs> Don's father. Uh, close enough. The professor, that I asked to upgrade your Pokedex. Oh. All right. What are we? What are we updating? We're we getting a national dex. What's going on? It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. <laughs> you really needed a different way to phrase that, man. <laughs> What's this? It's already got the weird Pokemon porn app on here. <laughs> Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with the project. May I ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. So they kept the, like, stop everything, even though it literally has no point now. Yeah. That's amazing. Gee, sir, I'm thirsty. That's a reference to you. Red and Blue. Yeah, it's a reference to the, the Saffron City uh, guards. Cargo port. Well, I'm going to hustle over to a Pokemon Center. There it is. And we'll come back next time. We'll explore the town. We'll head back, fight those dudes on the outskirts. And then, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we've if we got stuff to do or if we're going to have a fight. I don't know. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.